For a long time now, quantum computing has been an exciting topic of conversation, needing only enough development to turn it to something real, as was kind of the case with self-driving cars. And like self-driving cars, just a few years ago, quantum computing today seems to be about ready to take its giant leap. As it does, the question for us as information professionals is this. Will this be a giant leap forward or backward? Let's talk about that now, here on Perspective Check. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Perspective Check. I'm Steve Weissman, the InfoGov guy, and I'd like to take a quick trip to the future and talk about what quantum computing could mean for data encryption and thus information security and privacy. The Financial Times, among others, reported just days ago that Chinese researchers are claiming they've found a way to use quantum computers to break the most common form of online encryption, RSA. If true, then pretty much every bit of information we've ever had that we've thought has been protected is now at risk something experts have been expecting, but not for many years yet. The purpose of this piece isn't to explain how quantum computing works, but rather to alert you to the fact that it may be emerging a lot faster than anyone thought. Anyone, I suppose, except for those Chinese researchers. There are plenty who have questions about the precise nature of the reported breakthrough and just how near-term the risk actually is. But we have to keep our eye on it, because as Sophos wrote in a Naked Security post the other day, RSA is still widely used, and there's still a lot of potentially crackable data sitting around in archives, log files, and network captures that was protected by RSA when it was transmitted. Scary stuff. And not a new concept, either. I didn't want to take a lot of time looking up how far back I could find popular press references to making encrypted data invisible through quantum computing. And it took only seconds to find a Computer World article from March 21st, 2011, called The Clock is Ticking for Encryption. Even the NSA, yes, that NSA, got into the act in 2015 when it announced it was moving the encryption of government and military data to new cryptographic schemes that can resist an attack by quantum computers. It's now clear, the agency went on, that current internet security measures and the cryptography behind them will not withstand the new computational capabilities that quantum computers will bring. If this is all news to you, then it's high time you started paying attention to it. And if it isn't, I'd love to know, as we all would, what your current thoughts are about it. How real is the threat? How soon till it becomes manifest? What kind of countermeasures are you contemplating? At this point, nobody seems to have any concrete answers to any of this. But make no mistake, quantum is coming, and may be coming faster than we thought. So the time to start thinking about it is now. This is Steve Weissman, the InfoGov Guy, signing off from this edition of Perspective Check. Thanks for watching. See you next time.